G'day and welcome to a tutorial on my vanilla player follow drone version 2. Today I'll be putting myself in your shoes to print it up, show you how to use it, how to set it up and everything in between. Couple little notes, on the left is the base game and on the right screen is the one with a multi-grid projector plug-in for the fact that it will allow you to build the turret that you see on the bottom much much easier instead of you having to build it and place the blocks yourselves including having to place that overridden thruster in the turret controller up the top, but don't worry, I'll show you everything like that with and without that multi-grid projector plug-in. I have a tutorial for you in the top right-hand side of the screen, which is very, very easy to use and install. With that being said, let's add it to the printer, print it all up, and let's get to it. All right, once you've got it all built up, disconnect it from your printer like always and get in control, just like so as there's four GPS's you will need. You will need two up the top, a dock approach and a dock high. You're more than happy to name them what you want, but that's where they need to be. You need a dock for the connector itself and a close dock that's in front of it. So let me just connect this all up. I'll show you how it's all set up. Make sure you're getting the right things, etc., etc., And we'll continue on. All right, once you've got her all connected up onto your base, wherever you want, you need to place four GPS points. So let's get in control of the drone. Let's go to the terminal itself, as you really need to make sure which remote block you're in control of to place these GPSs. So you need to control the activate or the RTB for the fact that that's the remote block you see up the top of the drone right there. And that's why the dock GPS is where it is. Other than that, you need to place one that's in front of it, not too close, not too far. And you need to place two up the top, a dock approach and a dock approach high. Just a small amount, one or two meters, it does not really matter how far away these are. For the fact that that is what the player follows remote block does, that allows it to keep its height or its elevation above the surface. Continuing on, let's get into the remote block itself, set everything up. I'll trigger it up and I'll explain how I did it, why I did it, and everything like that. So let's get into it, let's set everything up, and I'll be right back. Alright, so to reiterate what I've actually done here is I've added two dock approaches instead of the dock approach and the dock approach high. For the fact I want it to go above where it is now to the dock approach lower one, and then swap its remote block over. When it does that, it's going to turn on a sensor, whether the player is close to the drone or not, and if I want it to follow my player or not. So if it's in idle or if it's in chase mode. When it finishes and when it's low on battery, it will then trigger back to the activate remote block and then go back to the dock approach, come down to the close dock and actually have a backward command on that remote block to back up onto the dock and start that secure dock timer. Really easy, really simple. So once it's finished that dock approach and it wants to chase my player, it'll turn on one of the sensors and actually swap over to another remote block to actually keep its height above the surface of the planet. And what it will do is that it will continuously fight to try and go towards either of those GPSs at a really low speed. But while it's doing that, this sensor right here is depending whether or not my player is close to the drone. So if I want to chase the player or not. With that, it will either trigger one of two timers to follow the player or to stop following the player. Once it does that in those two timers, it will just turn on the controller, turn on the actual top thrusters to make sure that it was actually slow itself down and it will start a stop timer or a slow down timer. And what this slow down timer does is that it re-triggers itself every three seconds by starting itself and by turning off its directional thrusters up here on and off every three seconds. What that allow it to do is that it allows it to fly towards me at a set speed or not fast enough that it will actually swing by me and just keep swinging. So let's just trigger this up and let's explain a lot more of what we can do. So I'll just get that activate timer and I'll just get it to trigger now. So I'll just trigger it now and I'm going to chase away or run away from the drone. I love doing this. I love going into the terminal just like so going into its camera 
and as you see it's directly chasing my pet player with the camera on the bottom of the drone now there's quite a few issues I had with this one as you may or may not have noticed already the camera did not drop all the way down and then flip underneath to turn back towards the player in other words it stops it from chasing my player and that would actually make the drone fly away from me so this thruster right here is controlled by this control turret right here and what it's going to do is that if the camera sees me I want it to turn on that overridden thruster if it doesn't I want it to turn it off easily thrusting itself towards me but at the same time I had problems with this camera here flicking underneath and still having that thruster pointed in the wrong direction away from my character so it would just fly away and say bye so I put this blast block right here to stop the camera from actually doing that as you see really quite easy it took me a while to figure that one out but I was quite glad I did I was thinking of putting the turret controller on the top but obviously if, if an attacking drone is coming from above you it's gonna be its first target to attack so it would literally just render it useless straight away apart from it just hovering in the air doing what it needs to do so at least it's not too bad in that regard so I'll just fly away again and go into that camera and I'll show you how it actually returns back to the base so if I go into its terminal into the drones terminal please thank you very much and I go into its return to base block it turns off the sensor, it turns off the top thrusters, and it swaps over those two remote blocks from the player follow back to that activate RTB remote block that you set the actual GPS's to connect back to your base. From there it turns off or it stops the slow down timer so it can actually fly back to the base with its control thrusters on the top and it starts that stop chase player timer to stop it from chasing the player pretty much rendering it useless to go back to the base so let's just go ahead and trigger that up and I'm gonna actually chase this drone and we'll see exactly what it's gonna do from here as I've got that backward command when it reaches the close dock so then it will go obviously backwards onto the connector to dock up I do not have a forward command to reset it for the fact that in the last few months I'll go into the remote block itself since it already has this backward direction it then resets itself automatically when it then sets out again it may or may not say it but it does and it just works the way it is I haven't changed it for the fact that there's no point it works fine as it is Building the turret on the bottom without the plug-in is a lot easier than you think. First of all, you need to place two rotors down. Just non-advanced rotors are perfectly fine as resources don't need to be transferred. Make sure you rename them, the bottom and the top, according to what the middle of the drone. Just like so, bottom and top. We'll need to place down a block so we can attach all the armor panels to and the camera, etc. Nice and easy. And don't forget, we also need to rename this camera as well just so we can find it later on if it's a, a connected to your base or whatever just like so now I've got a half block on this rotor you can use a full block I just find the half block is just a lot more stable from there place down those blast blocks just according to where I've placed them there get these armor panels on these are just light armor as you can see more than happy to use heavy armor, but I don't really see any use to it for the fact that bullets can mainly go through these anyway. I just find it kind of looks a little bit better as well. Next of all, you want to place down the small atmospheric thruster and rename it the override, just so you know which one is which later on. Just like so, override. There we go. Lastly, we just need to go into the turret controller, set everything up. Make sure all the rotors are connected and all that good jazz. So we'll just get the bottom one there and the top one there, including the assigned camera for the turret that we renamed as well. Lastly, we just need to get that thruster to turn on and off, whether it sees the player or not, just like so. There we go. 
And last but not least, we need to actually go to that override thruster, make sure you have it turned off first, just like so, and then override it. From there, set up your remote block, all that good jazz, and you're good to go. Nothing else needed to be done. Now, I'm usually really bad at the sign-off, so make sure you hit that subscribe and like and all that good jazz. Till next time, stay sharp. See ya!